We're joined now by Central College head softball coach George Wares as the Dutch are coming off of a couple of losses over the weekend to Luther and preparing to return to Iowa Conference action Wednesday night at Cornell. Coach, always appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Uh, I guess take us back to the weekend, uh, a very big weekend, kind of an emotional weekend. Unfortunately, just not able to get it done on the field against a very good opponent in Luther. Yeah, I think the first thing you always have to do when you get beat, especially get swept, you have to congratulate the opposition. And Luther, they kind of had their backs to the wall. You know, they knew the only chance they had to win the league was to sweep us, and, and, and they did. And I thought they pitched fairly well and, uh, you know, got some timely base hits. and. You know, the flip side of it is, uh, I don't know if the emotion of the day, obviously a lot was going on with Senior Day and, you know, the Larry Hopple Day and the alumni and all that. And so maybe that's a factor, but I think I said before that I've seen that work in your favor and seeing it work against you. And, and I think it was just uh, more of a matter of frustration. You know, we had a very, very uh, good early chance to score with second, third, nobody out. And, you know, if you go over the history of our program, you don't have very many second, third, nobody out, so we don't put a run or two across. And I think not scoring there, it, it didn't cost us the game, but it clearly cost us some uh, momentum at the time. And then, uh, you know, then we go into the defensive side of it, and we make a choice to intentionally walk through a leadoff kid who's been swinging it well, and you know, with two outs, and then uh, uncharacteristically, a uh, pretty and easy easy walk to their number two kid. A big mistake by Kylie, and and all of a sudden, uh, you know, Snyder's up, who's a quality hitter, and and even then, I thought we had her out. You know, and Holly would be the first to admit it's a catch she should have made, especially when you think about the catch she made in. In game two, that was one of the better catches we've had an outfielder make, and we didn't make it. And now we're down three nothing. They had another one, and that's a tough hole to dig ourselves out of. And and it just seemed to kind of be the set the tone for the day. You know, we just could not get timely hits. It seemed like uh, the ball kind of had some eyes in their favor when they did. Uh, even when we made good pitches, they were able to fight them off, and it just didn't happen for us. And that's what happens when you uh, do that against a quality team. You get swept. The other part of it was it seemed like the runs that you scored outside of the, the seventh inning when it was basically over, you worked so hard to get the runs, you know, one at a time that you did, and then they'd come right back and get a double and a single and just basically wipe that run away. How frustrating is that when that's happening to you? Well, it's very frustrating. You hope that the players don't, you know, feed off of that frustration, but I, I think they do. You know, they're, they're human, and you start realizing that it's starting to slip away, and I think you press a little bit with your at-bats. And, and then I think the, the magnitude of the day with the Alumni Day and all those things became more of a factor. I don't think they were at the beginning. But then, uh, you know, either consciously or subconsciously, I think they're thinking, okay, we've got all these alumni watching, you know, we're really good and we're not looking really good right now. And I think that's, that's a tough thing for people to grasp, is how you want to look so good when all these people that don't get to see you very often are watching you play. And, and the bottom line is we all know we're better than what we played. And again, I go back to Luther was part of that reason. They played exceptionally well and we didn't play very well. And, and that's, uh, you know, why they won two and we didn't. You go to game two and it was going old school for the alumni. one nothing pitcher's duel, uh, just a total opposite of the 9-5 game. But again, the same thing kind of held true. You had a couple of chances, couldn't come up with the timely base hit. Yeah, it's it's a continuation in a different way, you know, with a one nothing game. And I can't remember the last time we had a one nothing game. You know, those are a little unusual in today's world of the the bat and the ball. And and uh, I thought their freshman pitcher pitched exceptionally well. In fact, if you want me to be honest, I thought she pitched better than Detterman. Uh, I thought we really got to Detterman a lot, and you know, ran her pitch count up and had some quality at bats and just didn't get that timely hitter. I thought we had a chance to knock her out of the game, but I thought their freshman was extremely sharp. And, and I thought Kylie came back and had a very, very solid, gutsy performance in game two, which clearly gave us a chance to win. And you know, again, give them credit. They had a couple opportunities and got the, the sack fly where Holly makes an exceptional catch, but they score the run. And, and we didn't, uh, you know, you think about the chance we had there, including later when Davis and stretches a single into a double, and we've got uh, Tembor and Lithbrook up. If you want to script it ahead of time, I'll take it, you know, and here we go, we're at least going to tie it, and it, it's just one of those days that didn't happen. Off the field, after the game, you had the Larry Hopple celebration that we talked about during our interview last week, but was that everything that you kind of hoped it would be? Yeah, and I think, I think the thing that pleased me the most about that is, you know, obviously you're down after you lose two to go up there, and I think our players bounce back, uh, which, which is what you're supposed to do, you know, you you lose two games and you're down, but yet this was an honor. And we said beforehand, no matter what happens in the game, we're going to really uh, make it a night that Larry won't forget. And I think when you look at, uh, you heard of what some of the alumni said and the, the video that I thought was exceptional that Katie yeah. Timbor put together. And then obviously when Larry got up and spoke, you know, his typical uh, witty humor, 
but you could tell how emotional he was, and it, it, it meant something to him. And you know, he said, "Oh, don't do it. It's not that big of a deal." But yeah, it was a big deal, and you could tell it was very special for him. Let's go back on the field. Iowa conference action resumes on Wednesday. Two games at Cornell. Saturday, two games at Dubuque. You win all four. No matter what happens, you win at least a share of the Iowa Conference Championship. And that's what we're going to tell our players, you know. And uh, regardless of what uh, Luther does, we know that if we win all four, we are co-champion. You know, we may have to go to Decor for the uh, conference tournament. That's all right because that means we are going to get a buy, and that's pretty important to get a buy in that first round of the tournament. And the other thing I think it seals if if we win all four of these, we're locked to get into the postseason, which uh, you know allows us to be able to kind of dictate what we want to do in that conference tournament, depending on who's healthy and all those kind of things. But you know, it'd be nice to win four and Luther stub their toe. I'd still would like that because win it outright and have a chance to uh, host the conference tournament. But we won't be greedy. I'd rather we all both win all four, and you know, we'll take that co-champion and go up there and play and it's not going to be easy you know it's the two games away from home and Cornell is much improved they just got a, a big uh, split at Simpson and uh, they're on their way to probably having a record season in terms of wins for that program and uh, they're clearly in the conference tournament and kind of battling for that fourth and fifth spot and so they're playing exceptionally well and and then uh, if we can get by those two you know we go to Dubuque and I'd like to tell you that Dubuque is really really good they're, they're not a bad team uh, but you know we did not uh, necessarily overwhelm them when we played them in Grinnell and uh, last time we went to Dubuque it, it wasn't a real fun trip so I think uh, if we get Cornell twice and have to go to Dubuque and win two to win the league tournament I, I think we'll be ready to play. Good luck this week coach. Thank you very much. That's George Ware, Central College head softball coach. I'm Trevor Castle.